there's this very weird misconception with the entertainment industry that you need to sleep your way to the top. And I think that's one of the first things I want to dispel. I mean, we've seen the Harvey Weinstein saga. That's probably the big Hollywood story that we know of, but it's going on in so many different countries and so many different regions, and it's being perpetuated as a norm. And I want to tell young women that it's not. Your talent is good enough. You are worthy. And there are credible structures that will get you recognized without you having to compromise who you are and compromise your dignity. That's the first thing. The second thing I'd want to say to, to women is we do have to work harder. It's not fair, but we do. So therefore put in the effort, effort. put in the effort to make sure that you, no one can, can question your credibility. No one can question your talent. Educate yourself, surround yourself with people that know better, that know more. People that have been experienced in, in the field that you've chosen to be in, whether it's entertainment, whether it's business, whatever your field of expertise, surround yourself with people who know better and never stop learning. Yeah, I worked in the industry for about two years, I remember, and I wasn't getting paid. And I remember it being one of the lowest points in my journey because I was on air every week. I was, you know, this big shot celebrity in this country, but I was completely flat broke. Um, and I had to keep up appearances. And I remember it was at that point where I realized that it's important to be loyal in this business, but it's important to take care to take care of yourself. And when the people that you work for are no longer taking care of you, don't be afraid to move on. It's not all fun and games. As much as you might love it, it is a business. Treat yourself as the CEO of your own mm. brand. You are mm. a company in your own right and treat yourself that way. Any success story that you've ever heard of is someone, yes, had a passion, yes, someone had a dream, but someone saw a gap in the market. You know, when I came in, I was the cute, pretty girl. Yeah. There's always the cute, pretty girl, and she comes in almost every year, and she's there, but she disappears. Mm -hmm. And she disappears because at the time that she was hot, she doesn't find her niche. She ends up being the sequel instead of the blockbuster movie. So. When it comes to my father, I learned, I learned how to be strong. I learned how to be independent. And I learned never to take no when you know that this is your yes. But I also learned from my father, I learned when it's time to walk away. Um, and it's probably one of my biggest life lessons. And if you look at my career and my journey, one of the reasons why I've, I've managed to do as well as I have is because I always knew when to leave. My mother taught me how to be an upstanding woman in society. And when I say upstanding woman, I mean there were points where my mother was the breadwinner in my family. And one thing that she never compromised on was the respect that we had to have for my father, even though tides had changed. There's that essence in being true woman, of being warm and nurturing. And those nurturing traits, I feel like in the plight of woman, we're starting to ignore. And that makes me really, really sad because there's no, there's no book that says in order to be better than a man, we need to be a man and forget about all the things that make us women. Can you please do it in red lipstick? Can you please do it in a pair of heels? And can we be nurturers and warm and beautiful and be loved and love and also kick ass in the boardroom? Do you know what I mean? It's one of the things about women is that we need more examples of women who are holistic examples of success versus just the corporate giant.